Hello everybody, time again to make another tying video. So I'm thinking about the classic Selma Fly Baron, so let's do this. So time to start this uh, fly, Baron. Um, just need to get the tin cell. There we are. So just going back with the thread here. I prepared prepared gut and so on already. <clears throat> Sorry for the buzzing no noise in the background. I uh, just. Uh, half an hour posted uh, something on Instagram so it's gonna yeah bust for a few hours did a interesting pattern yesterday I didn't do a video of it um, but yeah it was a was a nice pattern chili from Farnos So I took three turns with, I, th I think it's small, the Weber's tinsel, it's not extra small that I normally use. Yeah, securing it there. Baron is a nice pattern as well. I hope you're gonna enjoy the pattern. And I'm gonna use uh, proper Japanese silk. Uh, I don't use anything else on my flies to be honest. Uh, that's the makes difference. The shine of it is just outstanding. So don't use floss, use proper silk. There we are. So I'm just gonna tie this one in and then add my gloves because we're gonna have this lovely shine to red silk. So just tying it in all the way. Glove time. <clears throat> so, tight wraps backwards, as always. forward again someday I'm gonna put super glue on my uh, trail holder it's too noisy the gloves makes it easier to work sorry for 
the green color on me today. It's a bit cold down here. Topping time now, or tail. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna wax the thread. I'm using a <laughs> green one today, light green. A bit odd, but um, yeah, yeah, just using what I got. I took the freedom of adding the tail, uh, find a new one a bit more suitable to. Uh, and this hook size uh, and I removed my uh, sweater uh, so I'm gonna be uh, a bit cold but that, that's okay uh, then we don't have any out of focus issues so Indian Chrome in this case I'm using a substitute Don't tie on real Indian crew every day unless you rob a bank or two, and that's not really my thing. So, I'm just gonna get it in place. Then we have shatter. In this case, I'm using a substitute as well. They don't want to cooperate. Uh, so I'm going to redo that. Not a big thing. I think I'm going to use a little bigger one else it has such a small steam or thin steam or stem sorry of it. Control away on this fluffy thing. Uh, 
and now it's in place. So then we have a good starting point for the herd. Black ostrich herd. More wax to the thread. It also acts as a foundation for the ostrich shell. Three turns is sufficient. There we are. Look. I'm just looking at the body. Oval silver tinsel. I think I will go with medium here. Yeah. Or even small to be honest with you guys. Yeah. We'll go with small. Since we're gonna have flat silver tinsel. First half of the fly. So going backwards, just behind or in front of the ostrich herd. I'm just creating a time point of the tin cell.
Then we have half of the fly. I would say that's pretty much here. Since you need to calculate that the bit in the front goes away for the head. So that would be close to half where I am there. Oh, you can see the thread. <laughs> My bad. So let's find some silver tinsel. The issue with silver tinsel is that, of course, it interferes with the camera. So let me see what I can do. We are. So then I just start to go backwards, tight ramps. I'm gonna leave any gaps. And then forward. the trend Now that tinsel is on, I took five turns of oval tinsel over and now we're gonna have some wheeling of Indian Crow. So let me see what I got. take some time preparing them so I might nah I just do it instead of pausing the video I can just cut later if I need to if it takes a long time So I'm gonna measure somewhere there. Keep it long, so 
going to cut even more. Fixing the thread. And then we try to get number one on the nice angle. There we are. Bit bulky. Then we're going to prepare the second one. Just doing some measuring. Looks good. Just gonna try to make this one less bulky. Tying it in. And there we are. I'm just gonna um, fix them more inside because now they're like wings. <clears throat> then we have ostrich shell again. Black, of course. Cutting off the stems here. Then I'm gonna level up the body here with white uh, thread. Nice wax thread, waxing even more, so it's gonna be easier to tie the hurl in.
from the Hurley's in planes. Starting to look like a fly. So I'm just gonna have that thread down here. Before I do anything else, we need to have some breathe there as well. <coughs> Sorry for that. I think I continue with medium. It looks sufficient. scaling off some of the tin cell so you can see the core makes it easier to tie in less bulky at least so but I'm gonna do in the next step I'm gonna attach the heckle down here and then I'm gonna level up the body a bit since we have a floss body and then I start the next section of this video so I tied in the <coughs> uh, the claret tackle and also the oval tinsel as you saw I uh, built up the body with uh, some black silk <clears throat> so now it's time to use well, not silk I used uh, a thread actually so now it's time for the black silk body so let's do that tight turns backwards there's a bit of difference in the shade of black so I see where I am <clears throat> useless thread so let me continue there nice <clears throat> flat body on this one Now forward again.
Yes, we can show him. <coughs> he looks even. Moving on, so just removing the gloves. <coughs> Cutting the leftover Japanese silk. Looks good. Tinsel time then. Five turns. Let me make that one a bit shorter. There we go. Just tying the tinsel in. <clears throat> Just gonna have a look on the other side. Looks okay. <coughs> Sorry about the noise. So now the fun part. Hackle. I like this claret, it's nice. I just noticed, I'm gonna let it hang there, but I didn't cut the tinsel, so I'm gonna move back again. How could this happen? Come on. I got stuck in between there. There we are. So just cutting this one off. Waxing the thread so I'm ready for the hackle to tie that one in. And let's continue. Oh, I do like this first. Just to make sure I get it in the right position as I want it. I'm gonna use the leftover for another turn here. There we are. Hang that one in. Then we have the front tackle. I went with a little bit larger hook, so I'm trying on a 5 0. So it will be hard to find a J in a good size for that one. So I'm going to use. A different feather. That one. Maybe. Let me see. Yeah, it looks sufficient. Or you can use Capricalio that I also dyed blue. But I think I go with my first option. Not sure if this one is too short.
gonna, gonna find a little bit bigger one. Not by much. Yeah, I'll take that one. Third time. Put the thread just ahead. And just tying it in. And get the leftovers. There we go. So now it should have the sufficient length, at least. And it does. Pulling it a little bit on the sides so I get it where I want it. I guess building up a bit of foundation. There we are. Now oh, it looks good. So I'm gonna take a break or oh. yeah I'm gonna prepare the wing so wing time for this fly it should be uh, tippet strands but I will not do that I'm gonna put tippet on Since I'm not doing a mixed wing, <coughs> I don't like using a tippet in strands. So it's only when I do mixed wing I do in strands. Let me see, this one is curving. There we are. I'm pleased with the position.
So I'm just gonna put some varnish on before continuing the next step that is to attach the wing. I got myself a bad tying day. Hmm. Not what I hoped for. So <clears throat> let me see here. Let's start over setting the wing. the fiber that don't want to play a game with me today so I will remove that one so here we are wing on so I'm gonna do the next step that is Bared woodduck and teal. Quickly gonna add that. I don't wanna have too much or too little. So. That would be sufficient. with a bit. I think we have GC on as well. Yep. So just gonna have a little of it. There we are. Just gonna align the wings. There we are. And let me do the same on my side. Just a little bit of wood duck. It's quite a lot of things going on on the sides on this pattern. Wood duck, teal, and mallard. And then we have GC, blue shadow.
bit thin. I don't have a little bit blow the strip. There we go. Little bit of teal. I'm just gonna cut that one out. There we go. Touch them together. That's basically it. Mallard time. So just removing these ones. So I'm gonna find a decent size mallard. Not big one, but medium, medium length. Not sure if this one will work. Nah, no, it's a wrong section. Do I have anything? There we go. I'll take that one instead. There we go. Mala done on one side. So I'm just gonna do it on the other side.
Да? Malad on both sides. I think I will go with the GC and the blow shatter immediately. No point of waiting with those steps. Just gonna wax the thread. Your wraps with back thread around that. is pressing down a bit on the middle wing which I don't like but I think it will be okay So easy time, I can fiddle with the rest later, but uh, now it's, it's okay. So do doing easy on my side first. There we go. And then on your side. There you see guys, easy on. So then I'm just gonna prepare the uh, shutter one, which I use a substitute for. If you're trying on those materials every day, then uh, 
We need to rob a bank or two. So let me see what we got. That one looks nice. We have similar for the other side. There we go. Yeah, not too big. So I'm just gonna prepare the feather before tying it in. There we are. Spot on. Then it's just time for my side. Then I'm gonna varnish, cut all the leftovers here in the front away, and then it's topping time. Hopefully, I got the topping suitable for this hook size. Um, I need to order more toppings. I'm running scary low to be honest oh did i just ruin the feather come on Oh, it's still okay. Just very, very short stem. There we go. So, varnish a bit, let it dry, uh, get all the leftovers, and then I start the video when it's time to attach the topping. The last few steps now, uh, so topping time, and then we do the horns, and uh, then the fly is basically ready after some varnish. So let's start with the um, topping. I've waxed the thread already. So let's, whoop, let's drop the topping. Had to modify it. I'm running low on, on toppings, as I mentioned. Uh, not really fun at all. There we are, just tying it in. So I'm just waxing the thread again. So we can do the horns. Not a big fan of horns to be honest.
Let me see here. That one needs to be adjusted a bit. Bonish. Let's, when that's dried, um, I will uh, simple as um, just varnish the head and then the fry is ready. And I'll take a picture. So that's how you can tie a bear on. Um, it wasn't my best day tying. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not really happy with it, uh, but it turned out okay. Um, you can fish with it at least. Um, so uh, I hope you're gonna en enjoy the video, even if I had a, a bit of a bad tying day. Um, so most likely I'm gonna start another video tomorrow, but uh, until then, make sure to stay safe. Um, have, have a nice day, evening, uh, whatever you are, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye. Sinking deeper every day And lately I am missing my reflection